Hi there, Mike Robinson with Blackhawk Paramotor USA for another on the field tips and trick video. Today we will be installing a tandem reserve parachute. I'm here with Glenn Blackstock and this is his fine machine, 320 revolver. As always, the installation is really quite simple. Watch the video carefully. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call. Tools, five inch zip ties, pair of dykes, or cutters and of course the Blackhawk Reserve. First thing that we need to do is install the reserve bracket. Glenn here has already installed his reserve bracket so we'll just use that one. But to install the reserve bracket is really quite simple. Simply undo the collar ties. The shorter point goes up, the wider point goes down. Install it and achieve relatively the same angle as this. If it was angled steeper, in other words, this point was down closer to the ground, in the event of a hard landing where the suspension compresses, you could hit this bracket. So do angle it up. This reserve from Blackhawk only weighs six pounds. It's very, very lightweight. This is a tandem reserve. It is the reserve that I recommend even if you're solo on one of our larger quads. It certainly can't hurt to come down slower in the event you have to deploy your emergency reserve. First off, determine which is up and which is down, which is top, which is bottom. Of course, it's going to be the black cock down. Didn't sound quite right, did it? Reminds me of that movie Black Hawk Down, you know, the helicopter thing. But anyway, the black cock logo goes down. Undo the clips. Super, super easy to install. Chances of uh, deploying this at some point next to zero, but it doesn't hurt to have a, a good feeling about what you're flying and raising your safety factor. Okay, place the strap through. Don't worry about making it tight just yet. Just get it on. It's really a pretty neat and clean operation. A little bit bigger than your other reserve, huh Glenn? Yeah. Glenn was well, flying uh, Air Max before this and had his uh, smaller reserve on it. How's the old revolver running, Glenn? Oh, just tons of power, super cool, quiet, half as, half as loud. That's amazing, isn't it? It's really it's a very really quiet. enjoyable to cruise. What kind of temperatures you're running? Max 250 once, and now I'm averaging about 220. Great. So that's it. That's it. Cruising and the uh, residual strap here. I'm just making a little half hitch, tucking it up. Try to give you a little bit better view of it here. A little half hitch. Just tuck it up. Same thing here. And the last one. Keep the reserve pretty snug. You see this is nice and tight. I'm actually pushing on it pretty hard. It tightened down really easily. But try to keep it nice and snug so it doesn't flop around. Getting close to the end here. We're going to install the bridle. So pull off the rubber band that secures it. The idea is to keep the bridle together. With your tandem or your regular reserve parachute for the quads, you always get a set of bridles or extensions for the bridles. To attach, take your extension and pass it through the actual reserve bridle. Once through, You're going to open the loop back up, make sure that your strap is flat, and pass it back through. Super simple, super strong. If 
sure that you snug it up all the way. That's the end result. Now I'm going to do the other one. And then we will complete the installation of the Blackhawk Tandem Reserve. So the next thing to do is run the bridle itself. Please pay close attention to this. You do not want to get this bridle behind something or through something that it doesn't belong. In other words, you need to envision deploying this reserve and you want these bridles to come loose free and clear. And I know it looks a little jumbled right now, but don't worry about that. You want them to be able to come completely loose to where they go straight to and unencumbered to the reserve parachute itself. So watch closely with what I do. And it is really quite simple. I like to leave a little bit of slack so I'm not pulling something too tight. Thanks, Glenn. We're not going to cut any of the ties just yet. We're just going to kind of get things where I like to see where they need to go. I think that zip ties are the greatest invention ever. I used to think that duct tape was great, but not anymore. The paramotor is the best invention ever. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to use this vertical strut. I might slide this back down. I haven't made up my mind yet. It just depends on uh, how much slack I've got here. Do remember that one of these bridles has to go all the way over to the other side. So we're just kind of temping it up right now. Remember, I'm not going to pass it behind here or go on the inside here. Everything goes on the outside. For poops and giggles here, I'm going to secure these two together. This makes it look a little bit neater. Remember, the zip ties will pop loose. Okay, one is going to go to the other side, and one is going to go directly to this carabiner here. I like how this looks. We will add another zip tie down here. These are the small five inch zip ties that, as I mentioned earlier, they will break very easily when the reserve deploys. Naturally, this one's going to be longer because the other one has to go all the way to the other side. However, if you were to make the other one on the other side longer and this one shorter, your deployment of your reserve would be completely wrong. All the lines going to the canopy itself, in other words, the reserve canopy, need to be the same length. So now I'm just going to attach it to this carabiner and then I will tie up the excess. I realize that some people say that you do not connect your reserve bridles or your reserve to your carabiners. In this case, with quads, I absolutely do. I like to tie it here because I know that in the event of an emergency deployment of my reserve, I'm going to come down pretty evenly on all four wheels or all four tires and still utilize that suspension when I come down. I could attach it here with a separate mallion or what have you. I don't want to be coming down face first. I want to come down evenly and flat. These carabiners here are good for 23 KN. Extremely strong. They are not going to fail. They're steel too, by the way. We've installed the bridle on the carabiner. Now we're just going to attach it to the top here.
Now let's talk about the residual. Here, just take it and fold it. Then we'll have another zip tie ready to go. Make it nice and even so it looks pretty. Glenn, go ahead and place a zip tie right around that. Make it nice and tight. Great. Okay. Notice I've left plenty of flexibility here. There's nothing going to impede the bridle in any way. Now we'll go to the other side. And we'll do the same thing. I ran the left hand bridle over the top of the bar. Again, where it can easily come up without impedance. One more right there, Glenn. Plenty of clearance there, which we do. It's great. Yep, and one right there. That basically completes the installation. We realize that if the reserve was to be deployed, that all of the zip ties will break and come up without impedance directly to the reserve canopy itself. If in the event you are doing tandems, which are technically illegal in the United States, but legal in many, many other countries, you may want to take the bridle and move it forward so that you come down evenly with a passenger in the event of an emergency parachute deployment. The next thing we'll do, and last thing we'll do, is make sure that we tighten all the, the zip ties nice and tight, and then we will take the clippers and clip them all off. Please remember to make sure that you clip these off flush. These little boogers are awfully sharp if you clip them at an angle. I've actually received a few stitches from hitting my arm on one of these years ago. So make sure you cut them off flush. Those are coming up pretty flush. Good set of cutters does make a difference. There's no reason to do anything more with these. Just a little note, I don't know if you can see this or not, but if you hold the cutter and pinch the zip tie, you, you are able often to get them a little bit tighter if need be. Perhaps you can see a little crease I just put in there. Glenn will complete those over there and let's do tighten this one up a little bit more use the cutter as I demonstrated to hold that and pull it tight. Very good, I heard about three clicks, huh? Mm -hmm. For some reason the old fingers just can't hold that as tight as the uh, clippers can. So are we good to finish these? Yes we are. We are this close to having this installation completed. The last thing I need you to do is make sure that everything is snug as a bug. So start off at the very beginning down by that reserve and work your way back all the way up to this carabiner and then from this point over to that carabiner there and make sure that everything is good. All right, Glenn, you're talking about how quiet this thing is. You want to hear it? Let her rip. I can hear you talking just fine. Wow. For 320 cc's, that's amazing. That's quiet. Oh, it's, well, when you can listen to music, which I've done at cruise. I've been cruising up there and listening to music. 
I just I couldn't even come close to it without blowing my eardrums out to you, and I still couldn't hear it. But now I got up about 2,000 feet, put it down to cruise. This thing has that cruise control on it. Relax my hand. I just put my hands in my lap and just listen to music and nice. Just bopped around up there. Nice, a nice clear day. Well, thanks for letting us use your oh, quad today. Yeah, you bet, buddy. From Blackhawk to you, blue skies. Go have some fun. Securing them so we don't have too much loose strapping. All right, you ready? Mm hmm. All right, start all over. It's going. Okay. Um. Yeah, so the next thing you gotta do, <laughs> pull the zip tie out of your mouth. <laughs>